Bullet Bourbon Barbecue. It's new at Buffalo Wild Wings. A rich and smoky barbecue sauce infused with Bullet Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. Bullet Bourbon Barbecue Sauce. It's now available for limited time only and only at Buffalo Wild Wings. Okay, round two. Name something that's not boring. A laundry? Ooh, a book club. Computer solitaire, huh? Ah, oh, sorry. We were looking for Chumba Casino. That's right. Chumbacasino.com has over 100 casino style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. Chumbacasino.com. No purchase necessary. Over and prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. The CBS Radio Mystery Theater presents. I'm E.G. Marshall. The sound of our door is not unlike what greeted the ear of the famous archaeologist Howard Carter when he opened the door of Pharaoh Tutankhamun's tomb. It was like opening a Pandora's box, following in his footsteps into Egypt's Valley of the Kings and unleashing truth chained to the past. This is one of those stories, a fascinating, human, and often tragic account of an extraordinary people who are suddenly discovered and born again, the ancient Egyptians. It is all a lie. There are no gods, no ancestors to guide the Pharaoh. You are not holy. All you are are statues of stone. It is false, all false. If indeed you can hear my voice, I, Heknaten, supreme ruler of the kingdoms of Egypt, Lord of the Delta and the Nile Valleys, I command you, gods of the past, to answer me. Answer me! Our drama, To Kill a Pharaoh, was written especially for the Mystery Theater by G. Frederick Lewis and stars Tammy Grimes. I'll be with Act One. There is today in a Berlin museum a life-sized plaster portrait of an extraordinarily beautiful girl. Even by the standards of today, the face of this young woman who lived 1,400 years before Christ is a miracle of balance. Her name was Nefertiti, which translated from ancient Egyptian means, Behold, the beautiful woman. But her beauty was more than skin deep. Nefertiti had spirit, decisiveness, and was in every sense a modern woman. But let her continue with her own story. I hate it when people say, Nefertiti, oh, that means, behold, the beautiful woman. As if that's all I am. Today I'm married. And this is supposed to be my wedding night. But it's not to be spent like everyone else. Because my husband is the king of all Egypt. And his first duty is to go underground into some big limestone caves to pray to his ancestors. Ancestors, I ask you. Half a mile of 30-foot high stone statues. Nefertiti, every newly crowned pharaoh for dozens of dynasties has gone alone into the Holy of Holies to pray and to learn how to rule. One can learn that in a cave? I... I hope so. How long must you stay down there? My father, when he became pharaoh, remained in the sepulcher 15 hours. I I must go now. When the bell sounds, I must be ready. Is it dangerous? I have no idea what I shall see or what I shall do. Take care, my love. I feel as if I'm about to enter another world. with the high priest this very moment. Is it true, Brother I, that down there he will be inspired enough to become a ruler? That is what generations of pharaohs have found. Akhenaten is a weakling. 
I've watched him since he was a boy, always frightened of animals. I didn't know that. I told no one, not even you, my brother. Birds, snakes would throw Akhenaten into a fit. It was a secret his mother and I were sworn to keep. That the young man who would inherit the throne of Egypt was afraid of his own shadow. Oh, but surely he must have outgrown such foolishness. Ah, weakness in the blood is never outgrown. This defect is dangerous to our lives. But, but how, how so? Suppose Egypt were attacked. This king would run from battle. The sooner we're rid of him, the better. Oh, our religion forbids murder. Who said the word murder? A king, like any of us, could die accidentally. Who would know? The gods would know. They would also know that Akhenaten's death was only for the good of Egypt. We would be forgiven. How much further down must we go, High Priest? We are almost at the bronze door, O Pharaoh. And then? And then I shall open it and give you this torch to carry into the tomb of the beyond to light your way. I am to go into the tomb alone? It is so written. What shall I find there? The tomb of the beyond contains great statues of all your ancestors. They have joined Osiris, Isis, and Hathor in the pantheon of the gods. This is the place. This is the bronze door. May I hand you the torch, O Pharaoh, and by the sacred powers vested in me, I shall open the door. May Osiris and Horus speed you on your way. Oh, the steps below are very steep. Once you have passed this threshold, I shall close the door behind you. Close it? But but when my prayers are, are done, will, will, will you open it for me? When you have spoken to the gods and they have answered, you have but to knock, so... And I shall know your vigil is over. I shall be here. Be sure that you remain right, right here. I shall not fail you, O Pharaoh. My turn, Queen Nefertiti. You're very good at this game. It's hard for me to just sit here with you, Mariani, and play this game of Senate when my husband is down there in the tomb of the beyond. Six, eight. I have a second turn. Did you hear what I said? I did, Queen Nefertiti. But all Egyptian queens have had to await their pharaoh's return from the Holy of Holies. What is the time? In one hour, it will be dawn. Dawn of my wedding night. Why does Mark and Adam come back? Mariani, what does this mysterious... Holy of Holies look like. Only a pharaoh ever sees it. But they say it's a vast, long, wide tunnel cut out of limestone a thousand years ago by Tutmos the First. He who dug the first burial place in the Valley of the Kings? The same. Would you like me to bring you some food to break your fast? Breakfast. After that enormous wedding feast last night, I'd be sick. You'd be sick. I guess you would be. Mariani, what's the matter? What is it? He would not understand. I should not invade your day. Not today of all days, with my thoughts. Now, you stop that. I want you to go home, Mariani. You've been up all night, and that's enough. And on your way, I gave orders that a large basket of food is ready in the kitchen for you to take with you. I shouldn't behave like this, I know. But all yesterday evening, at the coronation and wedding banquet... Seeing all that food, so much wasted, thrown away. And everyone I know where we live, sisters, we're blinders. Mariani, I promise you that will all change. Who knows what a queen can do if she puts her mind to it? Now, there, you see? Something good has come from your tears. You have quite made me forget my anxiety over Akhenaten.
Where are you, God? Where are you, Father? Grandfather? Great Grandfather? I have been on my knees for many hours praying. Praying to you. Answer me. Answer me. Answer me! Horus! Make Hobbit! Anubis! I call you from the depths of my aloneness. I kneel at the feet of your great statues. Speak! If you have tongues, make me hear. I am a pharaoh now. But I feel no differently from the time I was a child of a pharaoh. Enlighten me. Teach me. Teach me. Please. Please make me understand what I must do to rule Egypt. Mother Ty, I'm so glad you came. Where is Akhenaten? Have you seen him? He'd be more likely to return to his bride than his mother. But it's hours past on. I'm afraid. I know my husband. He cannot stand to be in an enclosed space. And in a tomb with reminders of death. What good is this vigil? Nefertiti, where do you think a young pharaoh learns the conduct of state? Only our ancestors and the gods know. That is why Akhenaten must pray alone. And pray to them. Silence. Nothing but silence. God, all of you, listen to your son, Akhenaten. There is no fierceness in me. I cannot order the lash. I cannot be cruel. I love Egypt, but I am not of the metal to whip her, to chain her. Guide me. Tell me, am I strong enough to lead Egypt? Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Not a moment longer. Where are you going? I don't know, but I have this feeling he's in some danger. Which is the way, Mother Ty? Tell me where it is. I don't know the way there. Then I shall find out. No, Nefertiti, you mustn't. If a queen joins a king while he is praying, it would be sacrilege. All very well for you to say. I shall take the palace guards. Someone will know the way. Queen Nefertiti. My priest, I want you to open this bronze door. Oh, I cannot, my queen. You cannot? You mean you will not? It is forbidden. And I, your queen, forbid you to disobey me. The gods will strike me dead. You have a choice. Death by the gods or by my soldiers. I beg you to understand. No one may enter the holy of holies. Stand aside, I command you. It is the sin of sins. You will not move then. I cannot. I must guard this door with my life. So be it. Guards, run him through. No. No, I cannot disobey you. I shall open. No one. No one. Not one word. Nothing but broken and fallen statues and dust and sand. It is all a lie. Forty pharaohs have prayed here under the earth. It was their wishes, their imaginations that put words into their ears. Oh, gods, that it should fall to me to discover there is nothing. No gods. Only statues of stone. For the last time, I order you to speak. I, Akhenaten... Supreme ruler of the two Egypts, the Delta and the Nile Valleys, command you, if you are there, answer me! Answer me! Cause landslides 
and cracked stone. In the confined tomb, Akhenaten shouting shattered statues, burying the newly crowned pharaoh in limestone, sandstone, and rubble. A thousand yards away, his young wife, Nefertiti, has opened the bronze door to the sepulcher to be met with billows of dust and sand and an echoing roar. I shall return shortly with Act Two. In an underground, mile-long chamber filled with 30-foot-high stone statues of pharaohs of the past, a young man destined to be supreme ruler of Egypt lies on the ground, fighting to breathe under broken stone and sand and dust. Have the Egyptian gods decreed he must die? In a far-off doorway stands his queen, Nefertiti. You wish to enter Queen Nefertiti. Something terrible is happening down there. I know it. All one can see is dust rising. Take a torch and come with me. Argonauten! Argonauten! Prime Minister, your daughter has gone into the holy place. What? Why? I could not stop her. She refused to wait any longer for Akhenaten's return. Who knows about this? She took some palace guards with her. No one else. Except the high priest who guards the bronze door. I want to follow her. No, wait a moment. No one but the guards and the high priest have seen her. If you and I go there, the sin will be compounded. When Nefertiti returns, I shall have a quiet word with the high priest and the guards. Please, I. I ask you as an old friend. Go yourself and find out what you can. But cautiously. What if the priests should talk? What if they are not silent? Then their tongues will have to be made so. Permanently. High priest, I could not find him. You must trust in our gods. The cavern is very deep. Our pharaoh is there. I took your torch and searched as far as I had dared. There are fallen statues everywhere. Queen Nefertiti, I have been looking for you. Father, I'm so glad you're here. Something terrible has happened in the sepulchre. Not an hour ago, there was a very loud noise, like an underground landslide. And so you I... You had best return to your chambers up above. But how can I leave? Akhenaten is in there somewhere. I may never see him alive again. Please, you must go in after him. That door is only open to a pharaoh. I was in there. Perhaps you were imagining things, my child. Your concern for the pharaoh has made you imagine you went inside. Your love for him is so strong you believe you actually went through the bronze door. But I did! I did! No, child, you couldn't have. The high priest would never have permitted it. I forced him to, Father. High priest, tell the prime minister. Didn't you give me a torch and see me enter the sepulchre? I saw nothing, my queen. What? Come, daughter. Come with me. My father, the prime minister, led me back to my chambers. He refused to believe I had entered the sacred caverns. Hours went by. It became noon, afternoon, then evening. The moon rose and... Unknown to me at the time. High in the Theban hills, something incredible was happening. You there. What are you doing? I don't think I can't see you. The moon is very bright. You, you beggar. Where did you come from? Haton the sun. Thou who didst create the world according to thy desire. Do you hear me? Get off your knees, beggar. Look at you, clothes torn, hands and face... Thy torn. rays, O God of the sun, suckle every meadow. When thou risest, all things live and grow for thee. Beggar, I warn you, you're trespassing in the royal pomegranate grove. How, how did you get here? Good shepherd, I came up from the earth. From the earth? From that place there, that hole... I have crawled and crawled under the ground with Aton, the sun god, showing me the way. You expect me to believe that? 
I advise you, look sharp and go away. Oh, oh, here comes one of the queen's handmaidens. She lives in a cottage near mine. Don't frighten my sheep. Good evening and blessings, shepherd. The gods be with you this evening, Mariani. I have been cursed with this ruffian who crawled up out of the ground. Look at him there on his knees. Stranger, are you... You look very much like someone I know. Mariani. Oh, the Pharaoh. How is it possible? I could not sleep. Outside, clouds hid the moon. In the dark, I found myself going down to the fish pool in the palace courtyard. Then suddenly, the clouds passed. The moon shone brightly. And I knew there was nothing to fear. I sat on a stone seat. I knew Akhenat would come. Nefertiti. Nefertiti. Oh, my husband. What happened to you? Mariani. The pharaoh appeared in the hills in the pomegranate grove. In the hill of Thebes. I shall explain. Let me sit a moment by the fountain. I brought the pharaoh back myself. I did not want anyone to see him like this. The wonder of it is no one looked at me twice. All they saw, I suppose, was a ragged man smeared with dirt. They didn't recognize me. Oh, Mariani, how can I thank you enough? I must go home now. My sisters will be worried. Here, this purse of gold coins. Take it. I insist. I shall never be able to repay you. I thank you also, Mariani. You may leave us. Good night. The gods be with you. The gods, she said. Oh, if you only knew. Rest yourself. Stay here beside the pool, my king. They shall all know soon. Your poor face and hands are so. Your feet are bleeding. Let me bathe your wounds. Oh, I'm not hurt. I'm not tired. I'm, I'm exhilarated. Do you wish to tell me about it? Hours and hours I was at prayer in that tomb. But nothing happened. No gods answered. No words from the past. I I, I shouted. I screamed. I, I, I cursed. And then... then I, I don't know. Something must have fallen on me. Yes. There's a cut on your head. Let me kiss. And then, when I awoke, my torch had gone out. All was black. I was buried under sand and stone. And the way I had entered the sepulchre, behind me was a mountain of broken statues. I was... Lucky Land Casino, asking people, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? Lucky? In line at the deli, I guess? Aha, in my dentist's office. More than once, actually. Do I have to say? Yes, you do. In the car before my kid's PTA meeting. Really? Yes. Excuse me, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? I never win and tell. Well, there you have it. You can get lucky anywhere, playing at LuckyLandSlots.com. Play for free right now. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Entombed. Don't tell me any more if it tires you. The air was so close I could hardly breathe. And then I made a vow. I took a solemn oath with all my spirit. I promised by everything sacred that whichever God came to my rescue, to that one God, I would give all my faith and my love. So all our great gods heard you and freed you? No. No, never, Titi. Not all. Only one God. As I lay there underground, I saw far off a light, a, a, a golden sliver of light far away at the end of a long tunnel. It beckoned me. I crawled toward it. Always that light. I dragged myself toward it. Hours went by, but I kept crawling. As I got closer, the white light turned red. And, and then I knew what it was. Atan. The sun sinking behind the hills. Atan had shown me the way out of the tomb, and he was now going to sleep. Atan, the, the sun saved my life. Darling, we have talked enough. You have been too many hours without rest. Let us go inside. Oh, I have much to do. Tomorrow, Atam, the sun, will be proclaimed the only god of Egypt. We have all of us been in darkness too long. Pharaoh Akhenaten, to what do I owe the honor of this early morning visit? I have come to ask your advice, Prime Minister, how best to inform the country that from today on we shall worship but one god, Aton, the sun. Temples will be built in his honor, and word will be sent far and wide. I have discovered how useless are our many gods, and I must make this known. With all my heart, I believe there is only one god. Uh, may I suggest, Your Royal Highness, 
Go first and persuade your mother, Queen Tai. If the Queen Mother agrees with your beliefs, so will much of Egypt. But, Mother, we have been worshipping stones, animals, and dreams. I am not saying there is anything wrong with the sun god. He belongs in the family of God. There is only one God. You have always had mad ideas, Atnat. <sighs> what if you cannot make people change their religion? I shall have to persuade them. How can you, son, if you cannot persuade me, your own mother? Of course I believe in Aton. But I don't believe he can do everything. Who would a mother pray to if you took away Anutet? Protect us of childbirth. Who would love us and treat if you did away with Hathor? Childish superstitions, Mother. It's unrealistic, Akhenaten. And no way to begin your reign. No, Akhenaten. I wouldn't say it's unrealistic. At least someone agrees with me. But I'm afraid persuasion won't do it. The only way to get people to do anything or believe anything is to tell them they have to. Give them no alternative. I couldn't. Make them believe what you wish them to believe. I know that's the old Egyptian way, how we conquered countries and people, but I cannot. I must make them see the light, educate them. Yes, see the light, as I did. If you rely on reason, people will do nothing. It's easier for them to stay with the old beliefs than try the new. Crack the whip and people will jump. Speak in a soft voice and they can't hear you. You spoke of the old Egyptian way. Do you think we won Nubia, Syria, all Egypt's possession with reason or with force? I'm looking to tomorrow, Nefertiti, not yesterday. And are not all these lands better off under Egypt's protection? The average man does not know what is good for him. He never did. If one god is what you want, Akhenat, don't ask. Order. It may seem strange to those of us living in this century that belief in a god or the hereafter was so important in ancient days. Don't forget, wars have been fought over religion. Eight crusades launched against the infidel. For centuries, Puritan was at the throat of heretic. Why, in the 1200s, thousands died in battle over the theological argument of how many angels could dance on the head of a pin. I shall return shortly with Act Three. What began as a childish fear and dislike of animals has in the young pharaoh become a full-blown protest against a heritage of grotesque gods, part human, part beast. Some 2,000 divinities whom the ancient Egyptian trusted to protect him in every aspect of his life. How to convince a man who felt if you changed your God, it might seal your fate. And so, each day in the weeks that followed, a royal couple disguised themselves and went into the streets of Thebes. Friends! A moment of your time! Who is that? Well, some nobleman who comes here every afternoon to preach. You suppose that's his wife in that chariot? Her face is hidden, but that dress is gauze from Giza. I'll bet you... Friends! Egyptians, gather around me and listen. It will cost you nothing and could be worth everything. I'd say he's some kind of a fanatic. He doesn't speak plainly. I wonder who he is. I, I, I don't understand what he's talking about. Let me give you an example, friends. Every year... Why do we pray to the spirit of Osiris? Tell me. Speak out, friends. Is there no Egyptian who will tell me? I'll tell you why you pray to Osiris. Because we need the Nile to flood and carry rich soil to the farms. So we pray, and every year the Nile floods, and we are rewarded with good crops and plentiful food. Oh, I have to go back to my shop. I know what he's going to say. One God is all we need. One God is all the... But how do we know the Nile would not flood without our prayers? I say, let us find out. Let us all gather here tomorrow and pray to Osiris. Then let us gather here a week from today and pray again to Osiris to flood the Nile. Is there a farmer here who wouldn't like an extra crop? Huh. I told you he'd say something foolish. Who wants to plant fruits and corn this time of year? Let us see whether Osiris raises the Nile. Let us not wait until the spring when we know the Nile always floods. 
Stop and think about that. Some people just love to stand on a box and talk and stir up things, don't they? What brings you here, brother? <laughs> the Pharaoh. Explain yourself. I was in the marketplace yesterday, the first time in months, and there was this preacher. I was told he's been going about among the people and preaching one God. Another fool. Fool? It is our Pharaoh, Akhenaten, in disguise. In the city? In Thebes? Yes, yes, I'm sure of it. After all the ordinary Egyptian, how many would know his highness by sight? Preaching in the marketplace. And the queen goes with him. Nefertiti? My daughter? Oh, yes. I saw her sitting back in her covered chariot not far from where the pharaoh was haranguing the crowd. And you say, brother, no one recognizes him? No one. But how could he? His entire life is hidden behind palace walls. And his disguise was very good. Even I was fooled. So he preaches flat on the sun god, does he? Madness. I never thought he would take to the streets. It is peculiar. He is far worse than that. I believe Akhenaten is insane. Oh, no, you can't mean that. If we do not act quickly, he will undermine all that Egypt has been for 17 dynasties. You... you believe so? If the Syrians or the Nubians or the Hittites learn a madman wears our crown... They would annihilate us. Aye, what can be done? I said once to you, I wished Akhenaten dead because he was too weak to rule Egypt. Now I am equally certain he is too mad. I told you he must die. And your son, Hornrab, now the general of the armies, should marry my daughter, Queen Nefertiti. Now, there would be a match. Together they would rule with strength. I said to you, we must wait for the right time, and that time is now. Are you with me in this? Yes. I would rather sew a shirt than a shroud. I am honored you came this evening, O Pharaoh. I should be by the side of my queen, but I, I understand the affairs of state. Now, why did you wish to see me, Prime Minister? What's the problem? Do you remember not so many moons ago you asked my advice? Yes. Yes, how to make my people believe in Aten, the sun god. Yes, I remember, but you had nothing to tell me. Uh, that's true. But your faith in my advice is joined by my faith in yours. I need your advice. Of course, anything. Uh, first, will you join me in a beaker of pomegranate wine? Certainly. I've already poured it. Uh, that is yours... And this is mine. To what shall we drink? To Egypt. May she live a million, million years. Let us empty our cups at one long swallow. By all means. Oh, oh it's a good wine. Oh. Ooh, uh, so much at one gulp. <laughs> Makes me feel a little giddy. Uh, now as to the advice I need... Uh, come with me, O Pharaoh, to this part of my room. This curtain hangs across my bed. Aye. What is that on your bed? A gold coffin, my king, that I've had made for myself. But, my dear, I, you're not an old man. You'll live yet for many years. Why are you thinking of death and burial? I have been plagued by a dream that my hour is near. I intend to sleep in that coffin every night until it is my last. I'll show you how comfortable it is, how well I can lie down in it. I will not have this eye as your pharaoh. I command you to put this aside. <laughs> what a gruesome idea. Are you sure your objection to this coffin is not the superstition in you? Remember, Akhenaten, how you fainted at your father's funeral and I had to lead you out of the room? I am different now. Ah, you may say you are, but I'm certain you would not dare lie down in my coffin to prove it to me. If that will prove to you I am not superstitious, I certainly will. Here, help me up upon your bed. Yeah. Now, I am inside your coffin. Is that enough proof for you? Lie down. All right. There. I am convinced. I'm glad you were honest with me, my pharaoh. 
May I help you out? Uh, in a moment. Uh, suddenly I'm overcome with fatigue. Uh, suddenly I'm overcome with fatigue. Uh, let me lie in here a moment and close my eyes. You can come in now. Is the pharaoh inside the coffin? Yes. The potion I placed in his wine has taken effect. Help me close the lid. Oh, I, I am shaking with fright. Supposing the king awakens and cries out. It is a powerful drug. He will not. And in time, there'll be no more air for him to breathe inside the coffin, and he shall be no more. I am afraid, brother. It is a monstrous deed. To kill a man without cause is unlawful. But to kill a king... It's the greatest sin of all. We have cause enough to save Egypt. What now? We wait quietly until everyone in the palace is fast asleep. Then you and I shall carry the coffin outside to my chariot. Where do we take it? To the top of Mount Oman. There I shall bind the coffin to the chariot, unrein the horses... And you and I together will plunge the chariot over the cliff into the Nile. Oh, I'm feeling much better now, Nefertiti. It was good of you, child, to spend these late hours with your mother-in-law. I have told you very often I will always regard you as my own mother. Of course. Yes. That's what it is. What is? What made me so upset and feverish tonight? I had the same sensation when my dear husband was dying. That entire week before he took to his bed, I had this strange premonition of death. You're a long way from that, dearest Queen Kai. Perhaps. But perhaps someone dear to me is not. However, the presentment has passed for the moment. So I want you to go back to your own bed. Akhenaten will be worried. You know, he has changed a great deal since he married you, Nefertiti. Yes. I love him for that. He is quite serious now. And dedicated. And so are you, child. I can remember not so many moons ago when you were but a princess. And the love of your life was your kitten, Mew Mew. <laughs> I still love Mew Mew. Mm. Well, tell my son not to be concerned about me. I hope he's back from his meeting with the Prime Minister. It's very late. It's not going well, is it? What? I know what you're doing. Your disguises don't blind me. You and Akhenaten are preaching in the streets. And people are not listening, are they? Queen Tyre's part of the palace was across the courtyard from mine. It was very late as I came out the door. The only lights were the four torches burning on each corner of the lotus pool. A chariot pulled away from the Prime Minister's doorway very quickly. Then I saw my cat, Mimu. The chariot seemed to be heading straight for him. Stop! Stop! You mad woman! You made me run my chariot straight into a wall. You could have killed us all. Who are you, woman? Woman? I'm your queen, Nefertiti. Why, it's you, Father. Uh... And the court tailor. Didn't you see my cat? You almost ran it down. Oh, my, my foot, it's caught under the coffin. Uh, Nefertiti, go home. Go home this instant. You are talking to your queen father, not some child. What is this coffin you are taking out of the courtyard? Help, help me push this from my foot. Only some servant I'm taking to the burial grounds. At this time of night. I'm sorry your chariot is all broken. But let me help father. And we'll pull the coffin from the poor tailor's foot. No, no, no. I can take care of this by myself. What's this? The lid of the coffin is cracked. It's opening. Father, the person inside the coffin isn't dead. He's pushing up the lid. I cannot! Husband! What does this mean? I cannot. The sun is up. We must rise also. Oh. oh, what day is it? Oh, yes, yes, I remember. 
I wish today had never come. We must steel ourselves. All week long, I've not understood it. That the Prime Minister would have a hand in killing a pharaoh. I keep asking myself, was it all a mistake? Did your father and his brother really believe I'd suddenly died? But how could it have been a mistake? The pomegranate wine poisoned? Their haste in rushing out with the coffin? You in it? Oh, and I'm spare us. That is the signal. I pray for my father's everlasting spirit and my uncle's. Oh, Nefertiti. That a man so highly placed, so trusted, should have been so evil. We must be strong and remember him only for the good deeds. Oh, it is done. Their bodies are destroyed. As they would have destroyed yours, Akhenaten. You're right. We must go on. Oh, I feel I've aged a hundred years in a hundred minutes. Instead of being afraid of animals and birds, now I fear the nature of man. Is man at heart so evil? I must not believe that. I don't want to. I swear to you, my wife, I shall dedicate this reign, my life, to finding out, to proving to myself, to all of us, that man is fundamentally good. Aton, God of the sun, soul and only God, help us find the truth. And so began the first year of our reign. Akhenaten and I had taken upon ourselves a heavy burden. He, to prove man was good and God was one. I, Nefertiti, daughter of a shamed father, was far from certain. Now I began to fear the shadows and what might be lurking behind them. What? And who? I wanted also to be a mother. The line of kings must continue. But this world of ours, was it the kind of world into which to bring a child? Nefertiti, a face known to all of us, but whose life up to now has been hidden from us, voices the same fears of the unknown many do today. And yet she did not realize how determined she was, how strong her character. Egypt would bow before her like no other queen in history. I shall return shortly. tried to bring to life those whose lives have long been figures of mystery and legend, Nefertiti and her pharaoh, Akhenaten. Open the tombs, unbind the linens, and unshroud the mummies, and there are lifetimes of intrigue, tragedy, and excitement. For these two were the greatest influence on ancient Egypt of any two monarchs before or since. Join us next time when we continue this fascinating true account. Our cast included Tammy Grimes, E.V. Juster, Russell Horton, Robert Dryden, and Ian Martin. The entire production was under the direction of Hyman Brown. And now a preview of the next exciting drama in our five-part anthology of Egypt's Golden Age, starring Tammy Grimes. I know the Hittites. I'm sorry you have no faith in my judgment. But if it was your intention to stop this visit of the prince, I hereby order you not to. That is your pharaoh's wish. Now, I shall leave you. I see another campfire further up the hill. There are more that I need to talk to. Wait for me here, Nefertiti. Is it true what you say, Hornlob? That we should fear for our lives? I am sorry the great pharaoh puts more trust in prayers than swords. I know what I must do. Stop the Hittite prince from his march on Thebes? No question. It is the only way. Hornrab, dear friend, you're taking your life in your hands by disobeying Akhenaten. Uh, that is my decision. I would rather die on the field of battle than be ambushed by the Hittites at home in bed. Mrs. E.G. Marshall inviting you to return to our mystery theater for another adventure in the macabre. Until next time, pleasant dreams.
Okay, round two. Name something that's not boring. A laundry? Ooh, a book club. Computer solitaire, huh? Ah, oh, sorry. We were looking for Chumba Casino. That's right. Chumbacasino.com has over 100 casino style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. Chumbacasino.com. No purchase necessary. Full work limited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. It's Superstart Battery Month at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Get up to a $25 gift card after rebate with the purchase of select Superstart batteries. Our professional parts people will test your old battery for free and recommend the right battery for your vehicle. For power, performance, and reliability, choose Superstar batteries only at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Oh, 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 O'Reilly.